time brushing her teeth out on the car, really using the <laughs> teeth and turbo's name to work. All right, we get her driving to Pueblo today. Turn the battery on. Pull the windows off. This is how we got our uh, those entire straps with the race fuel in between them, and they're pretty solid. Not moving much, these sea suckers. I'll tell you what, working pretty good. Up. James and George can't get the Viper from Uncle Chad. Chad also brought his SVR Range Rover. This thing's sweet. That's my co-driver. That's right. That's my co-driver. The freaking muff on my headphones came off. Ben's been trying to put it back on for the past 15 minutes and it's so loud in here. But I'll take that hit for today if that's the only one. Garrett was saying just to run this thing hot until the radiator overflow starts spitting on the windshield. But I was like, dang. We were just cruising, going slow, trying to keep temps at like 190. And then uh, Garrett and everybody's like, just send it, stay up with us. So we've been speeding up and it's been running about 215. So no overflow yet, but whatever. We're having fun. The car's doing all right. It's holding up good. It is holding That's up good. That's what matters most. Look at how far tucked these stock wheels are off a 2016 Mustang. But this also has a Ford 88 rear end in it, so. She's tucked. Yeah. You saw us melted a hole through the bumper. See how everything else is looking. You're looking pretty decent, dude. Over here, anyways. Zip ties holding up nice on here. Oh yeah, it is holding on. It wasn't holding on nice yesterday. This is all good. This is all good. The hair though, I'm gonna drain that while we're sitting here. Where are those shop rags? You know, all right, so we're getting some issues with the car. It seems like it's getting a little bit of fuel cut, but we were hauling the mail for the past hour. We've driven about 100 miles. Luckily, we're almost in a town, we can pull over and get some gas. But my AMR was kind of jumping around a little bit, making me think that we're getting a little bit of fuel cut. So, we're gonna pull over here in just a second and see how it looks. But I would imagine it's just fuel. We're also way up in altitude, so I'd imagine the air is a lot more thin. So, you know, with that being said, less air, less fuel, the car is going to start choking up a little bit. The car literally just shut off as we were pulling into this gas station. So, hopefully, it's just as <laughs> cool. Yeah. I bet this is good, dude. So we were ripping for a while. Right. Nope, it's not a fuel issue. Feels good? Feels good. Okay. All right, we're at our checkpoint in Colorado. Petrified wood building. Says it's 175 million years old. I don't know if that's even possible. Chet in the SVR, Garrett and Mullet with Brent, Ben and I in my car, and then James and George in the Viper ACR. All right, Ben, so we we're just talking to Garrett and Brent. Seems like they're having the same issue because the fuel's getting so hot in the fuel cell that it's aerating, keeping the air in it from the return. So we vented our fuel caps are gonna to go top off and then they said the car should be running fine and the air is thinner. So we'll see how that does. All right.
what happened, man. Dude, I think the gas is boiling. So, we're like 10 minutes from the hotel, and uh, the car started bogging out at the intersection. And we have to push it. Now I gotta figure out what's going on. Alright guys, we're literally two minutes away from the hotel and this pump gas is literally boiling in the street tank. Literally boiling. It's so hot. I mean, our hotel is literally right there. So I'm going to switch over to my uh, oh, yeah. my race tank. Run some ethanol. Should burn a little cooler. Oh, do you got quick connect lines even? Yeah, dude. Quick dude, connect, dude. Savage, bro. Makes it easy. Straight savage. Right? All right, let's do this. So close, man. We're literally right there. We're pulling up to the stoplight. We're like, man, that lane's not moving. And then I passed dude, it. Was, I was like, oh shit, this part. Dude, it was so sketchy because we were literally in the middle. It was a green light. Cars would pull up to us and get out of the way. And other ones were coming oh, yeah, line that's, up. That's like, where we were. Dude, we were one of the ones coming up. We were just coasting down that hill, though, trying to cool off. Really? We literally just put ours in neutral at the top of that big hill. Yeah, I had my engine running. We just made it to the hotel. Eight, um, hours. eight hour drive. Yeah. We broke down at the intersection like 10 minutes from here. Uh, well, I wouldn't really call it breaking down. It was pretty easy to fix. Yeah. But it was a little sketchy on the side of the road. It didn't break down. It bogged out. The car basically shut off. And uh, so we switched, switched gas lines, which helped. We went from the pump gas because it was overheated to the E85, which Runs cooler, right? Yeah, it runs a lot cooler. So shout out to, uh, to Jamie for helping us out there, giving us yep. some pro tips. So we made it. We're tired, we're exhausted, we're sunburned. Tomorrow we'll be racing here in Pueblo, so we're pretty pumped. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe, like, and leave us a comment. We'll be posting every day through race week. We'll see you later. Peace.